Welcome to Infigyan, my dear friends. In this video, we are going to solve one very interesting non-algebraic equation. That is why it is transcendental equation x plus ln x equal to 2. But before that, let us understand few things about lambda w function. I will consider two functions first, e power x and ln x to understand lambda w better. If I will say to plot it, then anyone can plot like this. This is our e raised to the power x. And see, this is our ln x. If I will put one line in between, that is y equal to x line. And I will take mirror image with respect to y equal to x line. See, you will get e raised to the power x and ln x graph. Symmetrical graph, that is why it is called reflected graph with respect to y equal to x mirror image so one important conclusion is coming out over here e raised to the power x if i will write the domain for e raised to the power x you will write minus infinity to infinity and if range then you will write positive y positive zero to infinity similarly if i will write ln x then you will write d zero to infinity and range domain and range you will write minus infinity to infinity now one strong observation domain of e raised to the power x is the range of ln x and range of e raised to the power x is the domain of ln x so what is the conclusion both functions are inversely connected with each other so that are inverse functions so if i will use that property of inverse function i am going to replace this x with ln x and then i will replace this x with e raised to the power x see what will happen e raised to the power ln x i have replaced this x with the second function the inverse function of that function e raised to the power ln x that value will be x now from the second function there i will replace this x with e raised to the power x see it is coming out x okay so conclusion is you are getting the inverse function if you are replacing by that function you will get the value x so by this property we can use the understanding of lambda w function better how it would be our function is in product log form we know that it is x times e raised to the power x so if function fx is x times e raised to the power x, then we can write lambda w wx that would be equal to f inverse x. This relation I am going to use. So let us consider our function fx as x times e raised to the power x. Few conclusions, few results from here we can write. See, e raised to the power x, it is always positive it is always positive so once x is positive let us consider this is y if x is positive then y will be positive if x is negative y will be negative and if x is equal to 0 then obviously our y will come out 0 conclusion conclusion is once your graph is in left hand side you will get below x axis in right hand side it is above x axis and it is crossing x axis only at one place that is origin this is one observation second is we will find out the limit value limit x tending to minus infinity x times e raised to the power x if you will see e raised to the power minus infinity that is zero so zero limit x tending to infinity x times e raised to the power x obviously both values are bigger very big number so infinity limit x tending to 0 x times e raised to the power x that value will be 0 okay once i will put 0 e raised to the power 0 is 1 so value will be 0 so i am trying to find out whether this graph is going to intersect like i am writing here y dash let me consider y dash what would be the value of y dash if this is our y 
So I can write e raised to the power x plus chain rule by parts. You can write x times e raised to the power x. Let's take e power x common out. So I can write x plus 1. For critical points, I will put this derivative 0. So if y dash is equal to 0, that means e raised to the power x times x plus 1 equal to 0. I am trying to find out the end behavior, the graph, how it will look like. Then only I will take the mirror image with respect to y equal to x line. So from here, this value cannot be 0. So x will be equal to minus 1. And if I will check the second derivative test, that will ensure us minima will be there. Let's find out second derivative. y dash is x times e raised to the power x plus e raised to the power x. It was y dash. Let's find out the second derivative. So I can write this value will be again x plus 1 e raised to the power x plus e raised to the power x. In totality, I will take e raised to the power x common 2 plus x. Just see what will happen at x equal to minus 1. So y double dash at minus 1. This value will be first e raised to the power x is positive always. This is also positive 1. So this value is positive. That means minima is there. I will plot the graph of function x times e raised to the power x product log function. So minima once it is certain, let's find out the value. So I will write y at minus 1. Let's put over there x e raised to the power plus x at x equal to minus 1. Put over there minus 1 e raised to the power minus 1. So this value is minus 1 over e. So function is attaining minima at x is equal to minus 1 over e. And see the limit value end behavior. X tending to infinity function was infinity. So let us plot it. Function would be like this. You can see this point is this point is minus 1. And see this value is negative 1 over e. What I am trying to do, I will take mirror image with respect to y equal to x line. See how our graph will come out. Once I will take mirror image or reflection with respect to y equal to x line. It will be like this. Okay. Now I will swap the domain and array. There are two limitations. Either you can take the mirror image with respect to y axis, y equal to x line, not y axis, y equal to x line. And second thing is what we can consider, we can find out in this manner. Okay. So if I will see the take the mirror image, then it will come like this. Now I will plot, then this value will be, you can see it is minus 1 over e. So the domain and range swap, if I will do, then this graph will come out. It would be like this. And see, it is minus 1 over e. Mirror image. Or you can swap the domain and range. So its domain will be range. Range will be domain. So this point will be negative 1. This branch is called W0 branch. And this branch is called W negative 1 or W minus 1 branch. See the conclusion behind is how you are getting minima and then you are taking y equal to x reflection. From there we can conclude. Now you can see it is not one to one mapped. That is why it is called multi-valued function. Why? We will get, if I will show you here itself, I will plot if I will put one line over there, then there would be two y values, two intersection points. So this is how you can understand lambda w function. Now let's solve our problem. x plus ln x 
equal to 2. Take away x from both sides. So ln x is equal to 2 minus x in exponential form or I will consider e base both sides. So e raised to the power ln x is x and RHS we are having e raised to the power 2 minus x. Using exponential property I can write it is e square times e raised to the power minus x. So it is minus x I will take in the denominator e square divided by e raised to the power x. Cross multiply the terms or multiply both sides with e raised to the power x as e raised to the power x non-zero. So x times e raised to the power x equal to e square. Now consider lambda w both sides, lambda w function both sides w. So LHS is x, RHS is lambda w e square. And if you will find the value, it will come out 1.5571 and so on. This is our real value x. Okay. See the verification through Wolfram Alpha. We square that value is 1.71455. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck.